Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose, and this here is Doug Maidenford. How are you, Doug? Hey, I'm ready to go, baby. I'm doing just great. All right. Well, our question comes in today from Brian of, well, we don't know where Brian's from. All right. Well, Brian says, there's a PA Dutch phrase I heard when I was a kid that I remember in English, but not in Dutch. Have you ever heard, and can you teach me how to say in Dutch, if you don't have time to do it right, when do you have time to do it again? Thanks, guys. I love your channel. Keep up the great work. Oh, we will keep up the great work. Now, let me see this. So, let's translate the phrase, then we'll talk about it. If you don't have time to do it right, when do you have time to do it again? So, if we'd say that in Pennsylvania Dutch, I'd say, When do net die Zeit hast, das Recht zu tun, wann wärst du es Zeit haben, für es wieder zu tun? So, that, that's kind of long, but... You heard me say it. You can rewind it and listen to it. But that is a great phrase. Why don't you do it real slow once for me? When do the Zeit net hushed epis recht zu do? Wann hush du die Zeit es wieder zu do? Yeah, there we go. Now, if you don't have time to do it right, when do you have time to do it again? That's about as Pennsylvania Dutch thinking as it gets. And doesn't that just speak to today? Absolutely, because nobody does anything in general. So well, there's this. <laughs> this <laughs> we, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, there's a lot Throw of truth a spanner in the words there's, there. There's, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm looking at society, and he's asking about when are you going to do it right? Hell, Chris is right. When are you going to do it? There's so many people that don't want to do anything, let alone do something right. And then what really makes me mad is when people do do something, and I'm going to use the words of my father here, they do it half-assed. Nobody does it right anymore, or very few people. Boy, that really gets me mad. No, oh, I love complaining about, uh, about mm, you know, modern times. And you go society. somewhere, and it's like uh, it, if it takes an extra minute to do it right. It's like no, we see these people, like, if, if somebody opens a door for them, they'll spend ten times more energy trying to run to get the door before it closes all the way than to just open the door themselves. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, all right, so say, 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 say yeah, over yeah, yeah. there, there's a door, and yeah. somebody open it and they go in, and the door's starting to, sh like, shut slowly. You know, the average person will just run, 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 really trying to get into that door before it closes. Instead of just taking their time and just opening the door with all that muscle strength of theirs, you know? Well, I don't like think that. that really applies. No, I think it's something more like this. My neighbor, he mows his grass, but he does a terrible job. And then five days later, he's back mowing it again. If he'd mow it right the first time... There wouldn't be there any wouldn't be grass. A, there wouldn't be a second <laughs> time. But that's how everything is. You, you, go, you go somewhere to a business and they want to do something and they don't fill the whole form out all the way. Or vice versa, you run the business and you give somebody a form to fill out and they only fill it out halfway. And then they get mad when you say, well, you didn't fill it out, you're going to have to finish it. Just do it right the first time. Yep. I know a guy, he had a, he invited, a, he had, not invited, he hired a kid to shovel his sidewalks this winter because he had arm, shoulder surgery or something and he couldn't do the shoveling. The kid came, shoveled, well, he did a terrible chop. He only did half the sidewalk. And the guy said, hey, buddy, I'm not paying you till you do it right. And the kid ended up having to spend an extra R just doing it right. If he'd have done it right the first time, well, then God for dump, then it'd be done. Yeah. Man. I don't I don't understand how people think. Spend time, three times the time to do half the job. Yeah, and then they complain about it. I'm gonna do it Probably right the first Probably because it's everybody else's fault that... Uh, well, sure, it's everybody else's fault. Hey, the kid said, I think that looks fine. The guy said, no, you didn't do well, it right. Well, you can right. walk on this. Weren't you a tightrope walk Yeah, on that's, that's kind of how the kid was. And the yeah. guy said, no, you do it the right way the first time. We are so ridiculous. Tell me that you know a Dutchman that when they do something, they don't do it the do it the whole way or the right way. I'll tell you the one thing: first anything worth doing is, is worth overdoing. It's worth doing right and I'm, then beyond. You know, it's like if you're gonna have to label something, label it three or four times from all directions and different languages too. But you, but you could do that. I think that's a little bit much. Well, you're never gonna not know what it is. Well, that's true. 
But I think, I don't know, I just, I don't know why don't people, why, why are people, it comes back to this, and we've complained about this before, why are people so lazy? Because in the end, you're making yourself work more. But if you work more, but at a third the speed, doesn't that work out to somehow less? I think that must be how people think, but that's ridiculous. It's like, I'll take three hours to do something I could do in 20 minutes, but I'm going to be, like, a whole lot less miserable for that three hours as opposed to 20 minutes of not wanting to do that, right? Is that how people work? I don't I know, because I don't, I just don't forstay it anymore. I don't know what people are doing. I don't understand it. I don't. I don't get it. And I don't, I, I... We need to ask a millennial. I wish we had one. Yeah, we don't have a millennial here. But I'd be curious. Why, why don't you just do it right the first time? I, I don't get it. You do it right. And then it's done. And you can be proud of it. Not something half-assed and then you're like, well, that's it. Nobody has pride in what they do anymore. Now, why is that? Where'd that come from? Where'd that, where'd that go? Well, it's, I think... A, a, People no, say, that's a serious question. Well, yeah, I think I think it has to do with technology. Oh boy, do I love oh, about technology. Know. But you know, I think it is. Is like back in the day, people had hobbies. Like they'd go home and they'd tinker and build a radio and be proud of the radio you built. You know, now kids have these. You know, they take cell phone f selfies and Snapchats and and Twitters and all that stuff, and they judge their self worth and pride off of the number of likes they have. So they're not actually doing anything. They're, they don't make anything, you know? It's like, people just don't have enough hobbies. Get more hobbies. That's, that'll fix it, right? I think there's truth in that. What do you have to be proud of nowadays? Oh, uh, I took this really good selfie with the duck lips like this. Yeah, I got 63 likes and it was, it was resent 55 times. What the hell's that mean? Yep, you didn't accomplish anything. Except the filters, you know. I'm at a loss. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. And... I'm with you, and the, pen, the average Pennsylvania Dutchman's gonna tell you, you do something, you do it right. Because you're attached to it. That's your mm. work. So you do it right. Not this, go back and do it again. Well, I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna do it right the first time. You know, there, I think there's a difference too between how people in the older generations and newer generations looked at that stuff. Normally in the old days, if you did something poorly, and your name was attached to that it. That was a reflection of you. You didn't want to let anybody know. Yeah! But nowadays, if you do something poorly, and somebody's like, well, that's Chris that did a really terrible job. It's, all right, whatever, I don't care. It's just this apathy. I don't know. I don't know. How do you spark interest and pride in people? We want to know. If, if you can send us your videos and tell us how you think we can solve this problem, Sparking interest and pride. And if we have people watching these videos that have an answer to that question, then damn it, they better be doing something about it. Yeah, go I don't know what, Yeah, society the first needs time. it. first time. So, yeah, do it right. <laughs> do it right the first time. That's it. I'm so mad about that. I, I get, I'm, I, I'm done. I oh, I, I think we've overloaded him. He's had too much. All right. Well, you heard it from our... I never do anything in life half-assed. I think that's probably true, yeah. But that's, I don't understand why other people don't think that way. We got him going. I did, that's, maybe that's the, the shop <laughs> kept the and the stubborn Dutchman, but that was the way I was raised. Yeah, I You take so. pride in everything you do. Otherwise, what's it worth? What's the point in doing it? What's anything? the point? Other than to just to go through the motions? But yeah. that's dumb. You gotta look like you're doing it, so then no. you get the credit for doing no. it. No, no, Why? So I can get a ribbon? A ribbon? Or a trophy. A trophy. I don't even, don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> a ripping or a trophy. I don't want no frickin' ripping. I just want to, <laughs> I want to know at the end of the day what I did had value and had worth. And I feel good about it. I can sleep at night. Yeah. And you'll be all tuckered out. For stick, your ribbons, stick your ribbons where the sun don't shine. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. We raised a generation of people that want ribbons all the time. And trophies. Ribbons and trophies. So what fight um throw it away. Throw away those rippins. Do us back. Do us back. Alright. Oh man. I don't even know what the original question was, but that really makes me mad. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do it right the first time. <laughs> God fight um no, Alright, well you heard it from the Dutchman and uh, let's get going before we get him riled up again. Yeah. It doesn't take much these days. <laughs> Alright, well uh mock scoot. Mock scoot. I, if you have a question why you have to email us at busterpa at yahoo.com.